We are using the computer on you. Minash on you. Nice to see you, everybody. Nice to hear you. Salam alaikum. كم واحد معنا صار سامعينا do you hear me hello أهلا وسهلا مين معي أمل أمل أهلا وسهلا إحنا بصفحة yeah, before we go to the page, yeah, last time we reached page 16, categorizing materials. What do you know about breaking system? In pairs, discuss the following questions. Let's see what do breaks do and how do they work? What do breaks do? A question. Question 5A. Yes. This is a, the question. What do uh, what do you know about breaking system and pairs? Discuss the following question. Yeah, generally speaking, what do brakes do? Last time we said that they slow down speed. Brakes stop movable parts. Is that clear? So brakes. In general, stop the moving parts. Their purpose, the function is to stop a vehicle, a car, or any moving part. Yeah, let's see <clears throat> question two. That's four, two. What kinds of material are used in brake pads and brake discs in different vehicles? Yeah, what do we use? We use ferrous and ceramics, yeah, in the pads. Examples of materials used to make pads include compounds of advanced materials, such as ferrous metals. Ferrous, yeah, related to fer which is a Latin word, which means iron. يعني فرص اللي هي هو رمز الحديد FR شيكي. سامعينا؟ FE. Yeah, FE. Yeah, FE, yes. So فرص, yeah, مهي FE هي. FE, فرص FE double R, OUS. It's taken from fer, which is, which means, it's a Latin word, which means حديد or iron. So what kind of metals or of materials are used in brake pads? في مخدات البريكات شو بنستخدمها؟ which, which, which materials we use for us and in bicycles we use rubber we use ceramics as well we'll see on page on this page we'll see what happens or what do we use question number five 
read the article on breaking systems. In the title of the article, what do the, what do the colors green and red refer to? Uh, as I told you last time, green means friendly, you see, uh, environmentally friendly. Environmentally friendly. And what does red, let's see what the red color refers to. In pairs, answer the following questions. We are going to answer the questions, but look after we read. Why do most braking systems waste energy? Why do most braking systems waste energy? Who knows? Do you know why braking systems lose energy? Huh? Do you hear me? Can't you hear me? Yeah, because of friction. So the answer, the key word to answer this question is friction. It's friction. So why do most braking systems waste energy? As a result of what? Of friction. You know friction. Yes, thank you. Let's move to question two. So question one, it's because of friction. Let's see number two. Yeah, who'd like to read? Yes. Amal, uh, go on. What are the regenerative braking systems and how do they save energy? Yeah, let's read the article and I'll give you the answers after we read the article. Yeah, look at the article. Green brakes, a red hot topic in motor racing. Green brakes, that means they are environmentally friendly and it's a hot topic, it's an important topic to deal. I read for you. As motor racing goes green, Formula One is aiming to, to lead automotive research in finding high tech efficiency gains. So there should be, look, gains. Yeah, the opposite of losses. Loss and gain, loss and gain. One of the keys to this ecological drive is regenerative braking, also known as kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Recovery. Yeah, kinetic energy, which means recovery of energy. As a matter of fact, energy does not fade, does not, you see, fade at all, but it converts from one yeah, source to another. So energy does not fade, does not, you know, if, you know, end or comes to an end. It does not come to an end. It is converted from one source of power to another, which recovers energy generated during this deceleration. Deceleration is the opposite of acceleration. Acceleration going faster and faster. Deceleration means getting or lower and slower. In Arabic, it means thank you. Deceleration and stores it as a source of power for subsequent acceleration. You know, subsequent following coming after subsequently as a result, subsequent coming as a result as yeah, following regenerative brakes limit the energy loss inherent in traditional braking systems. Look, regenerate, regenerative, you say brakes? Regenerative brakes limit the energy loss. So look, what is the function of regenerative, you know, brakes? They conserve, you see, energy. Yeah, they conserve energy. Yeah, loss inherent in traditional braking system. In most vehicles, conventional brakes comprise pads previously made from Asbestos-based compos composites, composites, yani, we it. But now, look. But now, consisting of compounds of exotic non-hazardous, non-hazardous, not dangerous, non-hazardous what materials, and discs made of ferrous metals. Metal, ferrous metals, yeah, any metal yeah, containing iron. The resulting friction generates heat. The resulting friction generates heat, 
which is wasted. That's in the traditional brakes. In performance cars, this phenomenon is taken to extremes. This phenomenon is taken to extremes and due to the high temperatures generated, brake discs are often made of what? Of ceramics. Yeah, the ceramics, yeah, it uh, resists yeah, friction and yeah, it's not consumed quickly. Ceramics. The carbon disc or discs and pads used on Formula One, that's in the traditional cars, generate so much heat. Disc course, carbon and pads used on Formula One cars generate so much heat that they glow red hot. So what happens in the drums, you see, or with the, you see, with the pads, the pads of brakes in the traditional ones, they glow red hot. They become hotter and hotter as a result of friction. يعني إحنا بالعرب كلهم خدي أو سيف في البركات في النمط التقليدي تصبح طبعا تمتص الحرارة وبتسخن بصير أحمر أكثر إحمرارا. It becomes you see redder and redder or red and hot. High temperatures are in fact necessary for the effective operation of carbon brakes, but there is still plenty of potential for recovering the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, rather than merely dissipating it, scattering. dissipating, Rather than dissipating it in the form of heat. Yes, let's move to the final part. Yes. The potential for recovering energy also extends to the heat generated by engines and exhaust systems. This area has also been discussed as a possible area for future exploitation in motor racing. Heat recovery might offer the added benefit of reducing heat soak thermal absorption, absorption, absorption in tissas. Yeah, thermal absorption and tissas al hanari by the chassis, the chassis, the heikel sayara, the amud sayara, the fikari, chassis sayara, the chassis, as delicate alloy parts, delicate alloy parts, you know, sabaik al naam al raqiqa, and sensitive non metallic materials, such as. Polymers, you know, polymers, you know, polymers are susceptible to heat damage. The idea here is that the chassis sometimes as absorbing, you know, or absorbing, you see heat, there might be, there's a danger that plastic materials or polymers will what? Will be susceptible to heat damage. They are subject to damage. معرضة للدمار أو للتلف. They are subject or susceptible to. Susceptible to means subject to. Yani might happen, something might happen. The questions are before, you see, we have to answer the questions before reading. Yeah, we have read. Let's see the questions. What do most braking systems waste energy? Why? Why do most braking systems yeah, uh, lose or waste energy? As a result of? Friction. Friction, friction. Yeah, friction. F R I C T I O N friction. معناه الاحتكاك بسبب الاحتكاك بصير فقدان للطاقة مش هيك. What are question two? What are regenerative braking systems, and how do they save energy? Let's see. Didn't we answer the questions? Yes. Let's see the answer. Look for the answer. Question. Two. What are regenerative braking systems and the mat kawabih and how do they recover? Yes. Recover the heat. Yes, they recover the heat. Mainly they recover the heat. Thank you. They recover the heat. I'll help you. 
They recover heat and use it to power the car. Look, they recover these regenerative, يعني مولدة. Generate, you know, generate, generate, generative, generation, generator, regenerative braking systems, recover heat. تسترجع الطاقة. They recover heat yeah, or energy. And how do they save energy? They recover heat and use it to power the car. As I told you, that energy does not fade. يعني الطاقة لا تذوى لا لا تنتهي. But it is converted from one source or one type to another. So the idea in this question that regenerative, you see, braking systems recover heat and use it to power the car. They recover heat, تسترجع الطاقة, و they you know to power. To power here is uh, is used as a verb. They recover heat and use it to power the car. That's to supply it with power and dear, dear, to run the car. Let's see number three. What characteristics, what qualities, what characteristics are required of materials used for the brakes on the racing cars? What characteristics, what are the qualities that are required of materials used for the brakes on a racing car? On a racing car, we have to avoid the transition. The traditional ones. Had a bit key. And the ability to generate high levels of friction and to resist the effects of friction and consequent heat. Yes. Look, so we have to avoid the, the traditional ones. That's the characteristics of the materials yeah, required in the brakes yeah, for racing cars. As you said, the ability to, ge to generate what? High levels of friction. <laughs> على ايش؟ تحمل الاحتكاك العالي اللي بيولد حرارة عالية. There should be yeah, the material should yeah, should what? should endure تعرف كلمة endure؟ يتحمل. should should endure high levels of friction. Materials used in these in the racing cars in the new systems for racing cars should endure high temperature or high levels of friction. يعني المادة لازم تتحمل حرارة درجة حرارة عالية. أو درجات احتكاك عالية high levels of friction so the idea in question number three that the characteristics should endure high temperatures or uh, yeah, resulted from what? from friction from friction and so to resist the effects of friction and consequent yeah so to resist let's see question number four what is meant by heat soak? S-O-A-K soak yeah you know soak? it's from engine Yes, heat soak. Soak means yamtas. Heat soak. So what's meant by heat soak? Yeah, soak means absorb. Absorb, yamtas. Soak, yamtas. So here the idea of the, the word soak. Soak, yamtas. It is absorb. So what is meant by heat soak? And why is it yeah, a problem in racing cars? Uh, the idea with heat soak, yeah, go on, please, please. Uh, Amal? The heat from the engine. Yes, it is the heat from the engine. Yeah, that's what yeah. the heat soak. And why is it important or why is it a problem in racing cars? No, uh, damage sensitive, sensitive parts such as electric compounds. Look, components. Yes, you know that wires made of uh, aluminum or made of copper or made of plastic, mainly plastic materials and polymers will uh, are susceptible to, to damage. يعني delicate معناها هش. Delicate substances mm -hmm. such as plastic, you see, or rubber, they cannot resist high temperature. Yeah, so when, when there is high temperature as a result of friction or as a result of soaking heat, the chassis, you know, absorb heat. Chassis السيارة الحديد بيمتص الحرارة. حديد بكون steel and iron might resist high temperature and might not be susceptible to damage. But what would happen with delicate materials? You know that cars are sometimes, you see, such as sensors, such as electrical, you see, any type of any delicate material or, you know, uh, such as plastic materials will be damaged. They will, they will never resist high temperature. 
المكونات اللي الهشه او اللي المكونات الناعمه البلاستيك وغيرها في السياره ما بتقاوم الحراره العاليه ممكن الشص الحديدي ايش يمتص الحراره سو وات از مينت باي هيت سوك يا ذا ويرد سوك مينز ابزورب 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 اند واي از ات ا بروبلم ان ريسنج كارز از اي تولد يو ذا انسرز ار ذير اون بيج 97 ديد انت تايتل يو يا ذا ذا انسرز ار ذير heat from the engine being absorbed by the chassis which can damage sensitive parts such as electronic components and plastic parts yes كنا البلاستيك المواد البلاستيكيه بتعرض الحراره تنصهر ممكن تعمل يا مشكله في السياره that's a يا بيج what Is there a question? Yeah, let's see now. Let's see if it is all the page is required or not. Yes, all the page is required. So let's match the words and their meanings. Let's match the words and their meanings. As I told you, yeah, we we have two comprehension passages in the exam. And in the exam, we have two. One of them, one of them is from the book. It's a, it's a seen passage, and the other is unseen. So they might bring, you see, uh, an extract from this passage or any other passages, you see, that we have discussed and read. Match the materials from the text from one to seven to the descriptions. Uh, for example, compound, you know, compound? Murakkab. Yeah, it means a combination of materials. Yeah, compound, combinations of materials. Let's see exotic. Let's see, exotic. Rare. Yes, rare. Rare. which means غريب. غريب يعني. rare. Yes, rare or complex or odd. يعني كلمة odd O double D معناها فردي. Or it might be in, in mean, you see, different from others. Mm. Or uh, it could be the only one of its kind. Exotic, strange. Exotic, strange. Eccentric. If you have heard the word eccentric, فرص فرص اللي كنا F E الحديد طلعوا يعني مش تغلبش رمز الحديد F E. So فرص means related or having iron. Iron. Yeah. Which one means having iron? B. Iron. Yes. Iron. That's فرص. Let's see ceramics. Ceramics number four. Ceramics. Yes, minerals transformed by heat. هي المواد المصهورة من من الرمل وغيره. Minerals معادنة transformed by heat. That's ceramics. Alloy. زي ما قلت لكم. Mixture of metal. Yes, alloy, which means number. Mixture of. Yeah. Mixture of metals. Thank you. Which which means mixture of metals. The mixture of metals is ceramics. Is I'm sorry, alloy. A non-metallic, non-metallic. Yes. Yes. Material that are not metal. Yes. Ma huwa non-metallic. So it is not. Thank you. So non-metallic parts are susceptible to damage as a result of high heat. Non-metallic. I mean, مش معدني. Non-metallic parts in the car. You see. As a result of absorbing heat, what would happen to these non-metallic parts? Should be seen in non-metallic parts. They are susceptible to damage. They might, you know, be damaged as a result of high heat. Yes, they might be damaged. 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 Yes, they Uh, plastic. plastic. Thank you. Plastic materials. Polymers and non-metallic parts are susceptible to damage as a result of absorbing heat. Why? Why do the chassis and this material absorb heat? The heat comes there from what? From brakes. From the movable parts. From as a result of friction. يعني نتيجة الحرارة هي من الحركة والاحتكاك. Check as a result of friction. Uh, friction the pads with the drum the pads with the drum يعني المخدات اللي هي بنسميها السفايف البريك مع الدرم هذا اللي بيولد احتكاك in the following page we are just going to answer question D the rest of the page is excluded 
في هذه الصفحة بس مطلوب ايش؟ دي هذا السؤال بنجاوبه يا جاست لا ان بيرز take turns to describe an object using the words from exercise 5c and the phrases in the books ask your partner to guess what it is you know you know the meaning of a partner ah uh? yes sharik partner your friend in pairs so we are going yeah, these are important words in pairs, take turns to describe an object using the words from exercise 5C and the phrases in the books. These are the phrases. Comprise. You know comprise? The, the meaning of comprise? It is to be made of. Comprise. Yes, thank you. Comprise. Comprise. Comprise what? To be made of. Let's move to consist of. Yeah. Consist of. Go on. Yes. Yeah. Consist of. Made from. Made from. Nearly they have the same meaning. Made of. Made of. Made of. Made out of. Yeah, you have to know these terms. Let's move to page. 18. Page 18. Where is page 18? Yeah, specifying and describing properties. Safha Sabi comes from Tobi Hakina. The previous page is excluded. It is excluded. Now we are on page 18. Page 18 and 19 are included, both of them. هذول آخر صفحتين في الوحدة اللي هن صفحة 18 و 19 بالإضافة إلى tracks اللي هي 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3 هسا بنرجع لكم صفحة uh, specifying and describing properties. Specifying and describing properties. In pairs. In pairs, discuss what do you know about what you know about the properties of Kevlar and how it is used. Read. Read the following extract from DuPont. TM's technical guide to Kevlar. Compare the information with your guy, with your ideas from exercise A8. So we are going to read what is Kevlar. Shall I read for you? Yes, I read the, uh, the article for you. What is Kevlar? Do you point Kevlar is an organic fiber? Fiber, a leaf, leaf. Fiber in the aromatic polymide family. The unique properties and distinct chemical composition of Kevlar distinguish it from other commercial man-made fibers. So it is a man-made fiber. It's a man-made fiber. Kevlar has a unique combination of high modules, you know, toughness. These are the characteristics. Look, they are developed of what? of high modules, toughness, abrasion, you know abrasion? Do you know the abrasion? When, when two materials, you, need, you know, when there is a friction between two materials, what would happen, suppose that, that, you see, there is a, abrasion is a result of, uh, you know, the pads, the pads of brakes. When they, you know, when there is a, they, they brace on the drum, there would be abrasion, small parts of iron or ceramics. Uh, abrasion. You know the word abrasion? abrasion? Ta'akul. Yes, ta'akul. Kevlar has a unique combination of high modules, toughness, abrasion, resistance, yani muqawim li ta'akul. And thermal stability. Thermal stability. Stikrar or thabat harari and thermal stability. It was developed 
for demanding industrial and advanced technology applications. Currently, many types of Kevlar are produced to meet a broad range of end uses that require strong, lightweight, durable materials. Yeah, we have very important words on this article. We have very important, yeah, we have lightweight. You know lightweight? Lightweight? Light, khafif. We have a durable. You know durable? Lasting for a long time. Durable. Yeah, we have advanced technology applications. You know applications? Huh? Applications. We have thermal stability. Yeah, that's when temperature, uh, temperature stays the same. We say thermal stability. Thabat harari. We have resistance. Resistance. Yeah, we have abrasion. Abrasion. You know abrasion? Let's Let's go down to the words. Yeah. Here, find words in the text in exercise eight, yeah? To match the following definitions. For example, when the opposite, yeah, it is the opposite of fragility. Fragility. Uh, fragility. Who, who's speaking? I'm <laughs> 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 yes, find words in the text. Find words in the text in exercise 8b to match the following definitions. So, for example, we have fragility. From the word fragility, fragile. Fragile means weak, not tough. Yes, hashasha. Fragile, hash. Toughness is the opposite of fragility. Toughness, salaba, is the opposite of fragility. Now let's look for a word which means resistance to damage caused by friction. Resistance, مقاومة. Resistance to to damage, مقاومة للدمار, caused by friction. ابدت أنا أقول كلمة abrasion, abrasion, abrasion اللي هي إيش تأكل, abrasion. Abrasion, what is abrasion? Yes, resistance to damage. Yes, abrasion. What is abrasion? Yes, resistance to damage caused by friction. Now, resistance to problems caused by temperature change. Resistance. Yes, again, have we have have we have temperature change? The temperature change is what is thermal. Thermal technology. Thermal. Yes, let's see. We have. Thermal. I'll see you. Uh, let you see thermal. We have look. I'll let you. Yeah, we have thermal here. Thermal. Look, that's resistance of temperature. We have abrasion, resistance of losing parts as a result of friction. Abrasion. Abrasion. Yeah. Thermal. Thermal related to temperature. Harari. Abrasion related to losing uh, some of the parts as a result of abrasion as a, a friction. Friction. Toughness. Toughness, toughness. Yeah, tough, solid, cushion, cushion. It's the opposite of weak and fragile. Weak and fragile. Yeah, this, uh, let's see number three, four. Long lasting. Which one means long lasting? Durable. durable. Yes, yeah, is, yeah, durable. Durable means long lasting. Now, what's the meaning of the opposite of heavy? It's what? Light, lightweight. lightweight. Let's revise them once more. Find words in the text in exercise yeah, to match the following definitions. Let's match the words and the definitions once more. The word is done. The first one is done for you. Toughness, which means salaba. So it's the opposite of fragility. Fragility. Sifa mini fragility? Fragile. Yani bakabil IT, wipes, tobin, hot, fragile. Fragile. Hash, daif. 
tough is the opposite of fragile. Now, resistance to damage caused by friction is abrasion. Abrasion. Yes. Yeah, resistance to damage caused by friction. Yeah, resistance to problems caused by temperature. Harari, thermal. thermal. Long lasting, damn, durable. It's the opposite of heavy, light or light weight or light weight. Uh, match. هذا كل الصفحة مطلوبة حكينا عنها. In the other exercise, match the automotive parts. هسا في عندي automotive parts يعني أجزاء من السيارة. Automotive parts متحركة أو أوتوماتيكية from one to five. We have from one to five. We have drive belts. يعني you know drive belts كشطان. We have حزام الأمان. آه الكشطان حزام البلت الحزام الأمان. وفي برضه كمان بلت معناها كشاط ممكن. درايف بيلتس وي هاف بريك بادز بريك بادز اللي هي مخدات البريكات او البريك نفسه اللي بنحطه على الدرم بنشتريه هنا هذول بتاكلن هذول ذي ار سبتبل تو ايش؟ يعني ذي ار سبجكت تو وات البريكات اللي بنشتريه هنا بنحطهم للدرمات السياره هذول معرضات التاكل الابريجن مش هيك؟ تنشوف تايرز تايرز ممكن اكثر من وحده يكون لوحده تايرز اللي هي الطواير اللي هي المطاطيات تايرز سيلينج جاسكيتس سيلينج يا سيلينج معناها مختوم سيلينج جاسكيت جاسكيتس ليتس سي ذا نيكست بوليت ريزيستنس ارمور بوليت ريزيستنس ارمور يعني هنا ارمور هي معناها مقاوم للرصاص خلينا نشوف اقول هلا هاف ا لوك Have a look at the, you know, these are the movable parts or automotive parts. And here we have uh, the descriptions. Sheets, let's see, let's see. For example, drive belts match the automotive parts to the descriptions. Which one describes or has a result with drive belts? Flexible bands used in transmission systems. Yes. Flexible bands. Band, what does it mean? The band means what? بيلت خلينا نوقف قليلا على كلمه منين يعني كيف اللي خلي عرفنا انه هذه توافق الاولى اللي هي فليكسيبل باندز كلمه باند معناها حزام كلمه باند معناها مجموعه باند يعني في هون قديم تقول اي ونت داون ذا جوردن اند وات ديد اي سي ا باند اوف انجلز فولوينج مي باند مينز ا جروب اور ات مينز ا بيلت سو درايف بيلتس يعني الحزام المتحرك طبعا الكشطان السياره يعني are flexible bands used in transmission system. Transmission systems and the metal harki. مش بيقول بيكون عنا كشطان على البكرة ال المولد أو على ال ال ترمة المية أو على الكران كذا بسميهن إيش flexible bands or drive belts. Drive belts are flexible bands used in transmission systems. So, we can consider that the band is the thing that is connected to each other, for example, a group. Right, I feel like you said that the band is a band, it's a group. But what does it mean? A band, a band. 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 A band of singers, a band of people, group or troop, band, جوكه مجموعة. Let's see number two, brake pads. هذه pad اللي هي السفيفة أو المخدة. Brake pad يعني مخدات اللي البريك البريك نفسه. أي نفس هاي هاي هي pad كل pads. Pads against discs to include or to induce. Deceleration to induce deceleration. Yeah, that's the brake. But she مخدات البريكات هي المخدات المضغوطة على الدرم أو على الديسك مشان تولد الطباطع يعني the induce deceleration. The induce deceleration. That what's all that? That's the the pads. The pads, the brake pads. You see, they are pressed against the drum, drum or disc, 
دم اور ديسك لتسي تايرز تايرز الطواير او الاطارات اطارات السياره تايرز بي بي يا هذه تركي برفو الكلمه هذه البيلات الفرض الكلمه الاولى لا لا هذه البيلات الفرض نيوماتيك انفولبس نيوماتيك يعني هوائي كلمه البي لا تلفظ نيوماتيك انفولبس ان كونتاكت وذ ذا رود سيرفيس يعني ما هي المضر المغلف الهوائي اللي على تواصل او الاحتكاك مع الارض اللي هو الربر يا اور تايرز تايرز ار ميد اوف وات اوف ربر يو نو ربر مطاط تايرز طواير السياره عجلات السياره اللي هي الاطارات سو ذي ار طلعوا الكلمه هذه نيوماتيك نيوماتيك البيلات والفاض نيوماتيك از ريليتد تو هوائي نيوماتيك انفلوبس ان كونتاكت وذ رود سيرفيس Yeah, that's what. That's the tires. Let's see the ceiling gaskets. A. Yes, it's with A. Sheets inserted between parts of uh, to prevent gas or fluid leakage. You know leakage from leak. Fluid leakage. Tasarrub. Tasarrub. So look, they are ceiling. Ceiling.